Hello team, it's Rich and it's Neil. And in front of us, we have the Grey Nichols 2024 bat range. Ooh, and we're gonna give them a little hit. That'd be exciting. They look bright. They do, don't they? Bright. Oh. Yeah, quite a bit of wood. Oh, oh it's got him, it's got him. Oh, no, man. I don't like this bat, it's useless. Oh, hello. Oh, I've gone big. Gone big, you've gone early. Uh, yeah, I have that second ball. Sorry, sorry, Skip. <laughs> right, everybody, we've, um, we've, Chris and I have had a really good look at all of the, the Grey Nichols range for 2024. We've done a little video on that. You should have a look at it. Chris has got all the knowledge. Um, but this is not your first look. Or sorry, uh, this, this is your first this look. This is my first look. You obviously tra I got transferred out for Chris, I think, yeah, in, you the, did, in the didn't first you? look. So, so what do you think? First impressions, um, new for this year, Shockwave. Yeah. Uh, Tempest, we've got new for this year. Yeah. Gem. Yeah, colourful. No, we had the gem last year, a little 1.0. That's gone up to a 2.0, second yep. model. So uh, we'll have a look, really a, a, a coloration change, I would say, in that one. Yeah. Um, this one's always in the range, isn't it? It's always in the range. Yep. That's, that's, the, the, that's the legacy bat always around. It is. Um, oh. Power spot. Oh, this is brings, brings back memories, doesn't that's it? That's the retro. My it first is. impressions, looks like more gold than I remember a bit of blue. Do you? Oh, now this is this goes back to the Gower, through the covers. We are going back. We are going back a good distance. So lots to cover off. We have. Come on, we've got um, a little bit of info on some of this, haven't we? Okay, so we've got the shockwave. Yes. Um, we've got... Who looks after that one? Well, I was going to start with the easy ones. I like, I like this one here, the pink, the pink version. Yes. Ollie, Ollie Pope's design, designed the shockwave. But? But he's not using it. No. How does that work? Strange. So he's decided to go over to this one, the blue one, the Tempesta. And they're slightly shorter blades. Yes, because they're the uh, the 1.1s. So that's, uh, that's the 1.0s are the, the longer yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. So sticking with the shock waves, we've got three different colourways in that. Um, we've got Rizwan and Shan Mahood in this one. Yep. Cool. And then we come across. Then we're moving into the Tempest. Yes. Uh, we've already mentioned Ollie Pope's going to be using that one. Yep. Baba's in this one, and he, but he designed. He designed that shape but wanted it in the green. You can understand why. It's natural flow. He keeps scoring millions of runs too. Um, and then we've got the gem. Yeah, I quite liked the gem last year. You did, didn't I think didn't it you? was slightly lighter. Yeah. Um, I actually quite quite impressed with the, the sticker upgrades, the, the livery. Quite like the colours. They are good, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, and then traditional. Yeah, I love that. Um, I'm really looking forward to the retro. I think we should go and hit a few. I think we've got to test these out in the uh, nets and yeah. see what get they're some like. proper feedback. Definitely. Okay, what we got there, Neil? Rich, I've got the Shockwave. Oh! New for 2024. Looking yeah. forward to having a go with this. Nice grip, isn't it? I like the grip. Yeah, I thought you would. Don't choose about on the grip, though. Beautiful. Mm. Always through the covers. First one. Oh, that sounded nice. Yeah, that came out nicely. Um, quite well balanced, I think, the Shockwave. And it's got a bit of, it's quite, quite a big profile sort of through the central point. So you get quite, quite a good value for your shots. Picks up nicely too though. Oh no, that's awful. Oh Tried no, that's a good that. one. We've got a wicket there, we've got a wicket. That's a bit, yeah, I think that could be caught mid off. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I could work it through the leg side. That looks a really solid, nice bat in your hands. Yeah, I think this is going to suit a lot of people. Good all-rounders bat. I'm not thinking necessary T20 blast and smash it everywhere. I'm thinking you get, but you still get full value for stroke play and shots. Try a couple on the back foot, maybe. See yeah, how it picks definitely. up. Yeah, definitely. Let's do that. I think it's really well balanced. Yeah. Thought maybe I should have a look at one. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. Well balanced bat, this, I think. Um, lots of potential to move it, maneuver it around. Um, yeah, I think that's going to go well. I think it's going to be, 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 be a popular bat. Do you reckon that's the sort of the, the midpoint bat for. Yeah. For Grey Nicks? Yeah, I think that's going to be almost like the stable option. Yeah. 
Um, if you're unsure, you're going to go with the shockwave because it covers lots of bases. Yeah. OK, I've got the shockwave. So it's the long version. Um, looks like it's a sort of the mid-swell um, sort of bat. Quite a lot of forgiveness across the face of the bat as well. So, yeah, should be when, interesting, this one. When you nice say long version, do you mean the standard version? Well, yeah, I, sorry, I keep saying that, don't normal? I? Normal? Normal. Yeah, go on, normal. Don't like to say normal. Would you stop bowling Yorkers, Grey Nichols, sending Nothing us normal these about bats. that delivery. It's a good Yorker, that. A tough length. Shot. Oh, good start. Sounds nice. Sounds like you're getting good contact. Yeah, you are, but you've got that forgiveness across the blade. Which just allows you to have a bit of a miss hit, which, of course, we all do. Yeah, that's a good bat face. It's forgiving. I mean, I've not hit that anywhere near the centre of the bat, but yet has, has gone a little bit, so that's good. There's more wood down the bottom um, than maybe perhaps you'd think, which I think is a good thing. Yeah, that's a great all-round starting bat. Um, be interesting to see what the back foot game says. And that's comfortable. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's a very good all-round bat. And we've got that one up the top. That's a lost ball. That. Yeah, a lost ball. <laughs> that's a mulligan in golf. Um, yes, I like this bat. I think this is... Um, I think that you're dead right when you said that a lot of people are going to enjoy this and feel very comfortable. I tell you what, you'd, or you'd almost say, try the shockwave, because yeah. you're not going to go wrong there. Don't think you're going wrong, are you? Nah. Right, what you got? Right, well, I've got the Shockwave 2.1 version. Yes. Um, very different to the two in terms of graphics. This is a lot more pink, the other one's a lot more black. But the big difference is Shorter blade length, longer handle. Yeah. Historically, it always takes me a good few balls to get used to these. Oh, OK. But the balance is just a bit different. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's give it a go. Oh! Well, that didn't take long, did it? Ball no. number one. Straight in. Mid off at a rate of knots. It picks up lighter than the other one. Ah! Oh. Yeah, definitely picks up lighter than 2.0. It's bizarre, because at this end, it looks like it's a bit of a shorter blade. It is. Well, which it is, but it's, <laughs> you know, my eyesight's not that good over 22 yards. But it's obviously that good, because you just noticed that there's 15 mil shorter in the blade length. Yes. I didn't know I was that precise. Oh! oh it's swung in, it's got him! Oh, no, I don't like this bat, it's useless. Yeah, that bat's useless, he's not going to pick that. Other than playing totally across the line, trying to smoke it over mid-wicket. <laughs> yes! In my head, Heiners, in my head. Yes! I'm thinking, this is the T20 bat, the 100 bat, you want to smoke it with it. Then I forgot the fact it was a decent length ball on the middle, middle and off. <laughs> I'll try again. Come on, then. That's what the crowd want. Yeah. And I think that's better. You can still play proper cricket with it. Good work. Well Those done. Those that whack it have a whack, but if you play proper cricket... Oh, good hands. Good hands, and that's the thing with these bats, you do, what, if you get good connection, you're going to clear the infield. You're going to clear the inner ring. What does it feel like in terms of where the middle, where the middle is on this one? Uh, reasonably central. The bit I find harder is where's the middle of the, on the bat handle. Yes. Because it's longer handle, as, hard, as stupid as that sounds. Do you go in the middle or at the end? Well, I'm normally always in the middle. Yeah. But it feels like I've got a lot more room. Yeah, it does, I don't know where it? to go. Yeah. Let's so, go back foot and see what happens. Yeah, because it's just a case of getting used to the balance and the pickup. And once you're used to that, you're then away. you've probably got a bit more wood in the hitting zone. Cool. Yeah. I mean, it picks up lighter, though, so I think on the back foot, you're probably going to have a little bit more time. I think really this is one of those... That's the real advantage of these bats, I Definitely. think. Definitely. The short ball. Definitely. For me, on the front foot, doesn't make a difference. It almost encourages you to have a swing, whereas back foot picks up lighter, you can manoeuvre it around. 
Just that little bit more, I think. You're in control. There's sure. just so much time just to then hit it where you want. Yeah, brilliant. That's the advantage. I think back foot play is probably underestimated with this type of bat. Yeah. But definitely works. Well, I've got the pink Shockwave 2.1. So shorter blade, longer handle. I like the grips on these. Uh, the nice little bit of grey nickels at the top. Be interesting to see how I get on. Feels a bit lighter than the last one. Feels like a different shape as well. I found the balance very different. Yeah, I'm, I can, uh, I'm finding this one a bit more awkward. Much more awkward. You've really got to get everything in the right place there. Um, but it is super light. A lot of young cricketers, um, you know, girls that are going to start out playing their, their cricketing journeys, the women's game. I think they're going to like that. I think that's a really good bat. Um, very different to the other one. I felt it came into its own on the on the back foot. Oh, okay. So let's have a let, look. Let, let's see how you get on with that. See, I like that. That's you're dead right. It's um, it's really comfortable as a batter facing the quicker bowler. That little extra bit of bounce, you've got time to move the bat around. Yeah, I like that. I'm not, I mean, I guess because I've got slightly bigger hands, I've not been too kerfuddled by the grip and, um, and where to put my hands on the grip with the, the longer blade. So, yeah, I think, um, I think that's got a lot of potential in the shop. A lot of people will enjoy that. Rich, I've got, I want to call it the Tempest, but it's Tempesta. It is, yeah. But Sounds me, like a Portuguese dish, doesn't it? Yeah, for me it's the Tempest, but A grade. Oh. It's your like A that. level standard. Yeah. Don't know. Tempesta, anyway. Tempesta. Let's see how we get on. He's got a terrible Tempesta. <laughs> <laughs> how are oh. the Spanish getting on in the, in the <laughs> ICC world rankings? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Uh, right, here we go. First impressions. Oh! Yeah, quite a bit of wood. Middle has been found. I think this is, this is more the sort of popular profile in the Grey Nichols range, this type of bat. Big solid edges, lots of wood. Shot. Yeah, feels good this one. Yeah. That's a good one for our coaches to, uh, to talk about. Well, it's obviously so good that Ollie Pope designed something and then he's moved to this one. Yes! Well, it looks like you're going to enjoy this. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Back foot, see how it is? Yeah, come on then. That was a quizzical look, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Um, I'm thinking when you get behind the ball, you've got plenty of wood there. Yeah. I think not, not as balanced in the pickup as maybe some of the other bats in the Grey Nichols range for me. Bit higher, bit lower? Um, yeah, a little, little bit higher. OK. And a little bit heavier. Might be the, might be the weight of, of the bat, but it yeah. uh, doesn't pick up quite as light as um, maybe some of the others. OK. So it should stop be anybody. good there, it's, that's going to be good, isn't it? Yeah, you're still going to, you know, that's pinging off the bat, just playing defensively, so, you know, lots of wood here. Let's try one more then. Yeah. Try and get it away. Oh, I didn't get on it enough. Yeah, he's definitely got back, back behind the ball. Um, I prefer the pick-up in some of the other bats, but I also actually, this is really good on the front foot, lots of value. Ah, we have the Tempesta. I love it. It's a rice dish. You've been looking forward to this one, haven't you? Oh, I have, actually, yes. Um, it's got a square toe, which I thought was quite cool. Longer, normal blade length. Oh, hello. Oh, I've gone big. 
Gone big, you've gone early. Uh, yeah, I have that second ball. Sorry, sorry, Skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of wood in this. A lot of wood, and it's, it does feel like a slightly higher swell, or, as you say, more wood at the top end of the bat, middle to the top end. Yeah. So the ball that bounces on a good wicket, harder wicket, batters who play on those types of bouncier tracks. What are you thinking of the balance? It'll be very good. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice balance. It's because it's a bit higher up, it's a bit closer to your centre centre of mass, so therefore it's easier to, to move around. Um, good middle on this. Yeah, really plenty good of wood. middle. Cool, we're going back foot. Yeah. And you can Shot. just get the hands through. Shot. Oh. That's runs. Yes. Well, an extra cover stopped it if I'm batting. And that's comfortable too. I've not tried to hit that. And I just feel that you could really punch through that and you really like that for that option. Yeah, that's good. And that's going to go a long way. But that's a nice... Again, I've got to work a bit harder because the bat... The weight of the bat is a little higher up, but... It felt like that still came out quite quick, though. Like, Yeah. Even if you don't quite time it, you've got enough there to, to still reach the ropes. Yes. Or, as in the worst-case scenario, get over the 30-yard circle to, to beat the fielder. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, nice bat, that. Tough option for, 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 uh, for those in the shop, I think. Rich, I've got the gem. 2.0. Oh. oh, yes, next year's. Oh, sorry, the year after, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure we had to go with the 1.0. So, first impression straight away definitely feels a bit lighter to pick up, which I think is what it's designed to do. Yes. So let's see if she's got, you know, plenty of um, muscle behind it. So the gem is the... That's the bat I'm talking about, not me. Oh, that's the bat. I was glad you said that. <laughs> um, so it's a shorter blade, this one, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm actually going to triple check. Go on, then. We've walked off camera there to do some triple checking. Yeah. So it is the shorter blade. Yeah. I love that. He he hence why it picks up a lot like yeah. the Shockwave 2.1. Good. See? We don't okay. always just write things down there on pieces of paper. some logic to this. Let's go. Oh! Ooh, I like the balance in this. Yeah. Straight away. That suits yeah. more me, I think. Oh! And you can get your hands through it still as well. I feel more in control. You seem to be enjoying that one more than the Shockwave shorter blade. Yeah, I struggle with the Shockwave just to get used to it, I think, initially. OK. Um, but, I'm in, yeah, I'm enjoying this, Gem. Good. Yeah, it's good. Picks up really nicely. Still plenty of back behind the, uh, wood behind the ball. Let's have a look on the back foot. Yeah, come on, then. Um, I think this might be where it comes into its own. Back foot, we'll see. A shorter ball. <laughs> yeah. Not deliberate, just, you know, back just of a length, nipping back okay. a little bit. Let's keep him quiet, ladies and gents. Oh, that is a good ball. Yeah. I think even there, bowling good areas, it gives you time. If you're not quite in the right position, actually, because of the balance of it, you can manipulate the ball if needed. If you get yeah. in a bit of trouble, you can be a bit handsy. Yeah. Um, a lot easier with this than it is with maybe something that picks up a bit heavier. Um, go on then, one more. Come on then. Oh, oh that is a good whip. shot. Um, yeah, I like this. Good all round bat. Picks up really nicely. Um, bit more wood down the bottom of the bat being a shorter blade, so I think that's going to be a good all round I think that's going to be good for lots of drivers, back foot players, players of spin. Young players coming through into their first short handles, I think, yeah. is always a good option, slightly lighter. Quite like the graphics as well. Good upgrade, aren't they? Yeah, that's a good upgrade. 2.0, going to go a long way. <laughs> the gem, 2.0. <laughs> well, it's got some new colours to it. 
um, and it's got a lot of wood in it. Slightly longer, longer handle. Be interesting. Oh, feels different. Feels like I've got to stay much more upright and through it. Can see why you like this one. Yeah. It's got that lovely lightweight feel and balance to it, which is right up your street. Yeah, I feel this picks up quite nicely, this one. Yeah. I think you'd be tempted with this. Shot. That's a lovely shot. See, that's just such a lovely, comfortable bat. Picks up straight up and down. But you've got to, I feel like you've got to stay in that zone. A shot of the day, though. Oh, you like? Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah. I hope we've got that one on camera. <laughs> he might not uh, put it in. He might not put it in the final edit, but oh it's a good no. shot. Please, please, he's got to. Uh, let's have a little look at the the back foot. Plenty of time. Yeah, because it's very similar to the the shockwave Ooh, that, we just that's played. Got miles. Um, the similar, you know, the Shockwave star that's the, the shorter blade. The Shockwave 2.1. 2.1. Is similar to that. It is, isn't it? And I feel because of that, such an advantage for back foot players. Yeah, I agree. Um, that last one's just gone out the ground. Yes. Well, I've found the middle. It's a super bat. Um, it's, I'd say the distribution of weight is, is really good on this one. I think perhaps on the Shockwave it was a little higher. Mm. Um, with this one, I feel it's a little bit more consistent all the way through the bat. Um, yeah, I, I think batters should really can seriously consider using the, the, longer, the longer handle version. I think that's a great bat. Oh, it's the trip down memory lane, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm hoping I do this one justice, to be fair. Oh, good. The power spot must have scored a lot of runs over the years. I think it's probably got its highest percentage in the Grey Nichols varieties. You were talking about David Gower, weren't you, earlier? Oh, I love, yeah, but it, yeah, David Ian Gower, I love it. See, I'm, I was thinking more Atherton, so that's probably, yeah, that's that's probably right, a difference in decade, step, wasn't that? it? That's a difference in our viewing. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was left-handed. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Lots of wood in this. It's quite a square shape. Square toe, toe. But lot, lots of wood. Yeah. Big edges. I can't imagine that it was this shape then. So I think they've really built the profile back up, but with the old classic livery. Anyway, let's, have, let's give it a go. You've become a fan of the word livery, haven't you? Yeah, I know. It's new. <laughs> it is. 2024. 20, who knew for 2024? I've been reading the dictionary. Oh, hands. Lots of reward in this. <laughs> Please let me hit another ball. Shot. They brought it back because it was good. Oh, yeah. It was popular. They sold loads. You can see why. It's um, absolute full value. You know, not tons of profiling, just a lot of wood for, for your bat. Let's try the back foot. Come on then, let's do that. I'm sure Gower played better drives than me, so. <laughs> he played better drives than most of us. Yeah. Oh, this does, oh. this, oh, hang on, hang on. This feels like Atherton Donald revisited. Yeah. <laughs> bit, of, bit of back foot fiery stuff, not even looking. He charged in though. Okay, good, oh, nice. right, here we go. Not getting past that. No. Nope. Alan's come steaming in. Oh, yeah. But again, enough time to move around. That nipped away a little bit. Still had time to adjust, getting behind it. Felt pretty solid. Picks up nicely. Good. Good. Like this. If I was going to be hypercritical... Yeah. It's just missing the blue for me. Yeah, it's the next generation, that one. That's, that's just the generation before. Yeah, hence you... why you're Gower and I'm Atherton. Yeah. But for, for me, it's just missing that blue, that blue spot. Oh. But plays lovely. 
<laughs> I would definitely use it. Yeah. And I'd get my permanent marker pen out and just change that to a blue. A lot of people going to use that? I, th I think so. I think that's going to be a popular one. Popular one for, for certain generations because I think they'll buy into that whole history. Lots of people will use this. Um, through the late 80s, early 90s, I'd imagine. And yeah. I think what they've done well here is they've brought it back, done real credit to the, to the stickers, not necessarily the livery. Yeah, even when you um, don't agree. But the profile's great. That really enhances it. Good. So that, 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 that could be popular. Well, she picks up nice. She really does. And she just reminds me of, of the TV, the BBC, watching the test match in the 70s and the 80s. I was very young in the 70s, by the way. But in the 80s, watching Gower and those glorious back foot players. And front you probably only had three or four channels you could watch at that point, didn't you? Well, you did, didn't you? Yes. That, well, yeah, definitely. No Channel 5. Oh, and no satellite. Get off. Right. Did you ever have a power spot? No. Oh, I did. Oh. It's my second bat. Power spot lightweight. But you'd be pleased because it had the blue stripes across. So don't bring any biased views into this bat review, I'm please. sorry, we have to. That's a lovely piece of wood, and that is a very nice shape. Is that the hindley of the 80s we've just seen there? Well, I'd like to say yes, but I don't think it was. <laughs> I think it would have been a, a much rougher version of that. <laughs> oh, get over there. Oh, That's David Gower never played a shot like swing. that. Yeah, I like that. That's a slog. Yeah, it is. I don't care about that. They had, they had slogged in those days. Oh, shot. Oh, there's a lot of wood in that. That's pinged off. It has. But again, I'm going to say very, very consistent shape all the way through. Yeah. So you don't have a... You've got a good sw a swell, which is your obvious middle, but there's wood down the bottom and at the top. It's probably more lower than, than upper, but there's a good balance on that. I'd be very interested to see what this is like on the back foot. Lovely balance to this. Little bit quicker to get through, little bit more time, but I think there's such a nice balance to that and I'm used to having a lower middle bat. Yeah, I really like that. I'd run off with that, just reminding myself of days gone by. But yeah, I think that's going to suit a lot of people, particularly those that like the lower middle. Right, well, we've had a little go at them and uh, now we're going to review them. So we've got the Shockwave, the Tempesta, the Gem. We've had a little look at this one before, and we've got the old retro power spot, which we both really enjoyed. Yeah, going it was back good. Down that memory lane. Um, what were your thoughts on the Shockwave? Um, the Shockwave, I think the Shockwave 2.0 can't go wrong. Yeah. Good all-round bat. Not going to be a problem with that one. If you chose that and walked away with it, you're going to be pretty comfortable. Um, the 2.1 picked up lighter. The balance is definitely different to the yeah. 2.0. So much so, I actually managed for the first time ever to get bold in a bat review. Oh, it's 1-1, one, 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 isn't it? 1-1, one, one, yeah. yeah. LBW, yeah. Last you last year. Um, so I, I think as long as you stay in control with that, yeah. um, you'll get the benefits. That would be my take on the, on the Shockwave. And obviously, you've got the green version if you, you, you prefer the, the green version. Um, what did you? What was your take on the shockwave? So, yeah, and I think we just felt that bat had good middle, long weight. The weight did come a little bit further up the bat, mm. um, and you could tell the difference when you played the shorter ball. We could punch those much easier. Yeah. Um, so you know, high bouncing wickets, good wickets. A little bit more time with the two point one. Two point one. We can definitely yeah. do more of that. Which I thought we could do definitely do that with with both of the ones. Yeah. One point ones, couldn't we? Well, that probably takes us into the Tempesta. It does, doesn't um, it? What were your thoughts on the, so the, the Tempesta? Te the Tempesta. Oh, I like that. It's a good name, that. Um, so with this particular one, I liked the balance of this. I, I did enjoy this one. Um, I felt there was a lot of wood in the, in the shorter blade, which I suspect you, there should be anyway. But I found I quite enjoyed that shape the, of the Shockwave. I didn't, I, over the longer sort of normal blade I found that one I didn't fall in love with it as quickly as I did maybe the shockwave or the power spot that we'll talk about later um, but it's a good bat with a solid mm. middle and the, well, the other thing you've got with all of these is you've got that forgiveness across the face of the bat 
which I think is super important these days because we don't all hit them in the middle. Um, but yeah, that would, they would be my mm. thoughts. I felt with the Tempesta that you, you, there's plenty of wood for your money. Yeah. Um, you're going to get plenty behind the ball. Strangely, I'm, I'm, I'm less comfortable with the name. <laughs> that doesn't do anything <laughs> for me. I don't know why, why we're going there with that. But, um, but as a bat in your hands, you like felt it. like a proper build. I, I felt it wasn't as balanced picking it up, though. I, f I found that a little bit heavier in the pickup. Yeah. Um, but th th that's going to be a good bat for a middle order batter coming in. Um, pretty solid, I think. The gem. Mm. Now, did you find it a gem? So it was a bit lighter. We definitely picked up on that. And We've got a gem in the office, so we better be a bit careful what we say. Oh, yeah, good point. However, we're not talking about you. However, the, for me, the gem this year, the 2.0, mm. it was here last year, the 1.0. Yeah. They've obviously um, they've kept it in the range for a reason. That, for me, picked up the lightest, um, which by all accounts it should do. Yes. Grey Nipples are bringing that one in in a lighter weight range than some of the others. Yeah. Um, so it's going to suit younger players. I think the women's game is going to benefit from that. Players that want slightly lighter. Um, I really liked it. I really liked it. Really well balanced. Great right mm. on the back foot. Yeah. Um, lots of versatility in that, wasn't it? Lots there? of versatility. If you got in a bit of trouble, you could get out quite quickly. You can use your hands a bit. For me, that was uh, that was a great bat. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, that makes two of us. I I, I did too. Um, I don't think you're compromising with the amount of wood yeah. and the amount of power that you're still going to get, even if it's a bit lighter. No. Oh, you, you're getting lots of wood there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Um, last but not least, the trip down memory lane, the mm. old school power spot. I loved it. What were your thoughts? Well, you were always going to love it. I was, that is true. But I then, I then, of course, I did love it, which was even nicer. And you also brought into the battery that you'd used one before I in did. your early career. Yeah, I did. Second bat. So I think slightly biased from your point of view. Um, so from my point of view, Come on, I've not used the power spot. I did really like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the profile's really quite simple and straightforward. And um, But there's a lot of wood in there. There's a lot of wood. And yeah. you got absolutely full value for your shots. Came out the bat really nicely. Yeah. Um, loved it. Would use it. Yes. I know, I know just needs the blue spot. If you're going to go re out. for me retro, that's you bringing back what it was for me in my time. But it's it, yeah. uh, that's the only, uh, and that's not much of a critique, no, is it? it isn't. That's the only bit you're worried about. But that played lovely. Was one that? Yeah. That's yeah. A con now, that's contender. You, it is. Do you have a favourite? Yeah. <gasps> so why, by the way? Go on then. Go on then. What's yours? Um, I really like the power spot, but if I was choosing, I'm going to I'm going to go with the gem. Because. Because for me, it's, it was the best balanced for my type of game. Yeah. I, 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 I feel I needed that slightly lighter pickup than the others, but I'm not compromising anything with the amount of wood. No. Uh, getting full value. You've got to stay in your shots. Don't try and get too creative, as I tried to do with the 2.1 down this end, and it all went wrong. Yeah. So for me, I'm sticking with the gem. That's going to be get, get me some runs this year. Okay. What about you? Well, I thought you'd choose that, and it does suit your game absolutely superbly. Um, I'm going to go retro, oh. old school. But you knew it. Yeah. And you, honestly, you did we know this. It. And I love the power spot. And that it was even. It was nice to see the lovely old stickers. But it was even. It was just even as nice to then hit it with that lovely shape. So I, I really like that. Mm. Um, and I think overall, Grainix have got that one. Got that range. Uh, quite an interesting range. Have got that about right. I think it's a little bit tighter than maybe sometimes yeah. in previous years. I think we also have got to give, maybe give a bit of credit here to Chris, our. Um, retail manager at Sirius Cricket. He's actually picked us out some, some really some good ones, belting bits of willow. Yeah. The, this Tempesta and this Shockwave, the grains in that are absolutely superb. Do so, look beautiful, don't um, Whichever grain equals bat you go for, uh, you, you know, you've got a trusted brand that's been around for years. Yeah. Um, you won't go wrong whichever, whichever one you go with. There's one to suit everybody. Yeah. Um, we've chosen our favourite. What, 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 yours? what would be yours? What yeah. yours out there? Yeah. Um, it's good. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, and first of all, thanks to Grey Nichols for giving us and sending us their stuff. We've had a little go with it and we really enjoyed that. And the beauty again is, as always, we can give some really serious and sensible feedback based on how we feel as individual batters. Mm. Um, if you like the video, do give us the thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to make a comment, please do below. Got a comment about that. We've already got comments. We've, we've had comments here. Uh, and do subscribe to our channel because we are putting out more content throughout the whole of the season. So we look forward to catching up with you soon. Thanks for watching.